The Hamas terrorist organization has a history of distorting casualty counts. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry claims that some 1,400 Palestinians were injured during protests Friday and Saturday, further claiming that over half of those numbers were wounded by live rounds fired by the Israel Defense Forces. The Hamas numbers have been cited in headlines and news media coverage by major media organizations worldwide. Israel says it has no way to independently verify the Hamas numbers. IDF spokesman Brig. General Ronan Manelis accused Hamas of exaggerating the casualty count and stressed that IDF information indicates only several dozen at most were wounded by live fire. Manelis explained that the remaining injuries were likely caused by tear gas and other riot dispersal methods. Of the 16 Palestinians reportedly killed, the IDF says that 10 were members of Palestinian terrorist groups, publishing their names and jihadist positions. Pick.twitter.com slash M7, FWABS5, IDF, added spokesperson, March 31, 2018 At least 10 known terrorists with track records of terrorist activity were killed whilst carrying out acts of terror during the violent riots along the border between Israel and the Gaza Strip on Friday, March 30, 2018. IDF, added spokesperson, March 31, 2018 Hamas itself provided evidence that it is cynically utilizing the cover of civilian demonstrators to attack Israel, thus drawing Israeli fire toward the crowds. On Saturday, Hamas released photographs of five members of its so-called military wing, the Azad Din al qassam Brigade's jihad unit, announcing they were among the 16 Gazans reportedly killed on Friday. Hmm. Hamas stated that the five jihadists were killed while taking part in popular events side by side with their people. In other words, the terrorists were killed most likely attempting to carry out attacks while surrounded by civilian protesters. The IDF said the Hamas members disguised themselves among the civilian protesters. Hmm. Hamas operatives camouflage themselves among civilians, turning a protest from peaceful to an area of terror. Pick.twitter.com slash T37BRBQK9U IDF added spokesperson March 31, 2018. The Times of Israel further reported on the 10 terrorists the IDF says were killed in the protests. According to the Israel Defense Forces, eight of the men killed were members of Hamas, which rules the Gaza Strip. One served in the Alaq USA Martyrs Brigades, and another was affiliated with Global Jihad, it said, apparently referring to one of the Salafist groups in Gaza. The army said that at least one of the Hamas members, Sari Abu Oda, was part of the group's elite Nukba force and that another, Muhammad Abu Amro, served in its tunnel operations. The IDF identified one of the two Hamas members who shot at Israeli soldiers on Friday evening and attempted to breach the security fence before they were shot dead, as 23-year-old Musa B. al salul According to the IDF, rioters on Friday threw firebombs and hurled rocks at soldiers, attempted to breach the Israeli border, attempted to damage the border fence, and opened fire on Israeli troops. The IDF released scores of pictures capturing the violence, including Palestinians in the midst of attacking soldiers. The images demonstrate Israel's need to use force to quell riots in which some Gazans are attempting to violently storm the border of a sovereign nation or attack soldiers. This is what Hamas claims to be a peaceful protest. Pick.twitter.com slash ZDPPPXDWVD IDF added spokesperson March 31, 2018 Peaceful protesters wouldn't arm their children with weapons, real or toy. Pick.twitter.com slash zikgilb 3 e is IDF added spokesperson March 31, 2018 Everything you need to know about the riots in Gaza today, explained by Mush. Karen Hajiaf Pick.twitter.com slash urgil 12 drqp IDF added spokesperson March 30, 2018 The Hamas terrorist group organized the mass riots under the banner of the March of Return, seeking to escalate protests the next few weeks leading up to Israel's 70th anniversary celebrations next month and the relocation of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in May. Aaron Klein is Breitbart's Jerusalem Bureau Chief and Senior Investigative Reporter. He is a New York Times best-selling author and hosts the popular weekend talk radio program, Aaron Klein Investigative Radio. Follow him on Twitter at Aaron Klein Show. Follow him on Facebook.